Paul, you have had some blockage in your ears for how long? Oh, forever, I think. Okay. I can remember one time the doctor just pulled out a big uh, chunk of the wax. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Could even happen today. We'll see. We'll see. Does it affect your hearing? Probably. Probably. I'm okay. sure. I'm sure it does. Yeah. This is looking in the left ear. And in the left ear, we can see through... Probably right through the right ear. Pretty. See the right ear? <laughs> All the way through. All the way through. We, we can see a little bit of wax, but it's, it's not blocking passage to the okay. eardrum. But it's in the way. And yeah. we can just grab that and take it out. Good. No problem. Am I hurting you? No. You felt it move there. Yeah. A little touchy. It can be. We'll just kind of pull there. And see it, this thing. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. You can flex it to get the wax. Got it. Makes it very handy. So that's part of it, but that, that's not the whole thing. I started paying attention to people's ears uh, on TV mostly. I, just, I thought everybody had a lobe, but a lot of people it just. It connects to the head. It connects to the head. Strange. One of those things that's determined by your genes. Mm -hmm. Get that in so I get some light from it, just so I can see. I'm going to put this in again. Hit record. Once again on the left ear, after getting a little bit of wax out, I find that I get a shot that I love. Your eardrum looks perfect. Good. And I don't want to take away the little, little, little bit of wax that's remaining in the canal. And the reason is because there's more risk of injuring your canal. Oh, okay. It's best Got to it. leave it alone when it's not causing any problem. People watch these videos and they'll comment and say, oh, you didn't finish the job, or I can't stand seeing you leave a little bit in there. It's not clean. Okay. Well, that's just the way the human body is. We're, we're not clean. <laughs> we, we don't get cleaned out uh, when we work our best. Okay. It's just... That's the difference between something man-made and something that, uh, that God made, I guess. Angle that the right way. Get it past the wax. Try not to move. You may feel something here. Oh, we got a little bit out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have an ear hearing test. Shortly, oh, after, after we get this out? Yeah. Did you try any over-the-counter earwax softener before? Never. Coming in? That'll help make this easier, and sometimes you can avoid this just oh. by using an over-the-counter earwax softener. Oh, okay. Like Murine or... Uh, okay. I don't like to put strange stuff in my body. Uh, I don't but blame if you. you say so, I... Oh, it's, it's better than a piece of plastic, I'll say that. Oh, okay. I know some people will use a bobby pin. I prefer not the bobby pin, yeah. yeah that's that's kind of dangerous. Or the car keys. Yeah, oh, that's, that's... You feel that one? Yeah. Oops. Yeah, let me take a look. Are you going to be putting liquid in there? We might. In oh, fact, okay. that's what I'm anticipating doing right All now. Right. First, I'll see how it looks. And, yeah, at this point, the, the wax is... Looking like it's kind of pushed in. I see a little abrasion that I made inside the ear canal. I don't want to make any more of those. Mm -hmm. So this is the point where we'll go to washing it, irrigation. Yes, it is. It is. That, oh boy, it's it's coming. Let go. Let, let go of the water. I'll, I'll okay. dump it out for you. I've got it. Let's see if uh, if it's going to come out in one piece. Yeah, 
Yep, there it is. Wow, that is a big lump. How's that compared to the previous one? The previous one was longer. Oh, even longer than that. Oh, you had a good and one. And very, oh. very solid. I caught it. Yeah. yeah. Put it on there. Good Lord. All right, so it's time to take a look. After one irrigation, we got a big chunk out. We'll see how, oh, nice. Look at that. We get in there and we see a perfect shot to your eardrum. It's got a little bit of coloration on it, which could be something on the other side. Could possibly be just a tiny, tiny, tiny coating of wax on this side. We're gonna leave it alone. Mm -hmm. I should show you, I, I should show this to you. That's what I should do. I should show this to you. Yeah. Oh, is that two of them or is this what we're looking at? We're gonna get What's inside your ear. Oh, just, just a little bit of wax on the... And those are hairs? Those are hairs. Okay. And then that's your eardrum inside of there. Wow. Um, it's got a little redness to it where it's mm -hmm. a little irritated. That's okay. And the little yellow spot. Yeah. It's either something on the inside of the ear canal, a little bit of mucus or fluid, or maybe just a tiny little bit of wax on the outside. Wow. I'll we'll have to get it on the big screen to, to okay. really be able to tell. But either way, we leave it alone. We're done at this point. Great. That was a successful ear cleaning. Did you want to take it home? Uh, no. <laughs> Put it in my salad tonight, maybe. Salad. Feed it to my cat. In the future, if you feel like there's some more building up, if you feel pressure or if it's affecting your hearing, just use an over-the-counter earwax removal kit. If it doesn't work, we can always do this again. What about a Q-tip? I prefer people not use Q-tips in their ears. It's hard to really get the wax out oh, without okay. actually packing in the stuff that's further in more. Just because of the size of the Q-tip related to the size of the canal, they're too close right. to each other to really be able to get uh, the, the middle wax is always going to be pushed in no matter what part of the oh, okay. canal you put the, the q-tip in. I'm always basically concerned about getting the water out. You know, like yes. Dab it yeah. with a, a cloth. If the canal is clean and you lean like that, mm -hmm. the water will drain out. Okay. Sometimes you have to spend more time like that to give it time to fall out, but as long yeah. as there's no wax you know, a little dam built up that blocks it, it it'll come out. Good. All right, hey, thanks for joining us. You did it. Appreciate you, you doing it. that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank also to these people out here. <laughs> yes, that's right. Boo Boo Kitty, Lindsay Antoine, and Petra Rosenberg. Do it. Uh, make sure that uh, you become a patron like they are by clicking on the link. Anybody who hasn't subscribed, please subscribe. And until next time, Paul and myself telling you to stay in good health. Okay.